Hi, today I would like to talk about another C sharp synchronization primitive that you might uh, find interesting and may want to use it in your own uh, programs. It's called reader writer log slim and uh, basically it is similar to reader writer lock and it's called slim because it's faster and right now since I'm just using it in one program with several threads I don't need to uh, use the version where it's just called reader writer lock. So the way this reader writer lock works is that uh, you may have a situation where one thread could be writing onto something and it requires a write lock and uh, but you may also have a situation there are many several readers of that data and to just read that they can just acquire a read lock and so it is uh, fantastic in that situation basically if a writer needs to write they acquire the write lock if a reader is just reading they can acquire the read lock and they can just kind of move forward with that so let's just see how this works so i am creating a reader write lock and here i am uh, referring that so i have a five tasks that are going to be running in uh, as a thread and uh, they basically are running in an infinite loop you can see while true and uh, another quick thing to look at here is uh, it says if it's not a writer thread basically means it's a reader thread so it enters uh, gets the read lock as i discussed and it uh, changes the foreground for, for the console and it says readers is reading this and it re uh, essentially releases the read lock exit read lock if it's a writer thread it will come here and it will try to get in a write lock and it will uh, try to get it within a time uh, window about 100 milliseconds it will do this if it's not able to get anything then we can just say the thread is trying to just sleep and if it gets the write lock basically it prints a message saying working and does a sleep and then it releases the write lock and here you can show it's break and break and the way you determine this uh, which one is the writer thread uh, basically uh, all I've done is uh, I'm saying that if a thread has a value the loop variable of 0 or 1 then it is a writer thread otherwise it's a reader thread so we have two writer threads uh, with values of i equal to 0 and 1 and uh, let's just uh, start this program and see the debug printout so if you look at the debug printout as I said there were two working threads so they do their work 0 and 1 and the reader threads are basically 3 2 and 4 and so you can see this is an excellent way to uh, um, um, uh, use in a situation where you have several readers and a few writers and hopefully you'll find um, using this synchronization primitive useful in your programs and if you want to learn uh, about these and other technologies you can essentially just go to my website and search for various videos for example so thank you for watching this short screen.